Hey, I'm Jem and welcome to another manga reading vlog. So I said in my goals video that I thought January would be kind of like a catch up manga vlog because I've been doing the trial volume series which I've really been enjoying but it means that I've been starting a lot of series and not continuing them so we're going to alternate between trial volume binger series but for January we're doing a catch up so I'm going to try and read as many of these as possible. I'm not saying that I'm going to read all these because if you've seen my TV Rart see, I do have quite a stack already this month, but I'm gonna do my best. So I have a select few here. I might talk about a couple more on the shelves. I'm just gonna read as many as I can, but there's no kind of like pressure. There's no pressure, we just read what we can. So the first one that I really, really wanna finish is Smoke and Parade. I have three volumes of this. I did try and binge read this. Um, it just didn't happen. I kept getting distracted by other things, but I'm really enjoying this series and volume five was fantastic so yes six seven and eight I really really want to get to I also really want to catch up on JJK I have 12 13 and finally volume zero so I would really like to kind of find time to sit and read these ones and catch up I've got volume two and three of undead unluck I really enjoyed volume one and I've got the next load on pre-order so I'd like to catch up before volume four comes out although I can't actually remember what that is but let's just Let's just act like it's soon, so we'll catch up in January. And also, depending on how my TBR goes, volume two of Overlord is in there, so if I get to that, I will also then like to get to volume three as well. If, by some miracle, all of that gets read, or, you know, even if it doesn't, I might try and continue The Way of the House Husband. Um, even if I don't catch up on all these, I might sprinkle in a couple. These literally take, like, 30 minutes to read, or the first one did, and... They're really, really funny, really made me laugh. So I could use some of that. So I might try and catch up on some of these. Maybe not all of them, but I'll do my best because I have five volumes to read. And I think that is everything. I'm not going to include Smoking Parade. I'm going to keep that for a binge because I've got four volumes of that on its own. The same with Given. If I don't get to this, this might be a binge one as well. I don't know. Maybe let's see how many of these I can get to first before I start adding more. But, you know, who knows? We might have an amazing reading month. Let's see. How excited is this book going to be? I don't know. If you're in the UK, you might have been just waiting to see whether we're going to go back into lockdown as well. I am going to be working from home um, because that is one of the guidelines to work from home if you can. So I will be, I think all month we'll be working from home. I mean, who knows? Who knows? Who can plan anything in this COVID era? So we'll just see how it goes. But what I am planning on doing is having an amazing reading month to kickstart 2022. I have, I'm looking over there because I've literally just filmed my TBR and I'm looking at it. It's all stacked up lovely. I'm excited. I'm excited for this. Let's go. Let's, what, who is that comedian? He said, let's kick it in the dick. Let's kick it in the dick. <laughs> I will see you when I have something to update you on. I look like crap thank you so much for noticing um I <laughs> was supposed to wash my hair last night and I didn't get around to it and I was going to film today but I thought I would you know have a chance to wash my hair but then um well parcels have arrived and it seems it's now the 24th of January and I have nothing for this vlog nothing I thought well I'll open them on the vlog and then at least I'll have something <laughs> I don't really have any b-roll I think maybe like you might have seen a couple of clips before this I don't know I don't know whether Red in Gemma is going to be like do you want no b-roll we'll put all the b-roll in one big section somewhere because I have filmed nothing nothing have I read anything oh I've read one so <laughs> this is the only thing that I've read for this vlog so far and technically it wasn't even for this vlog because I used it to fill a couple of prompts on tbrgathon no not tbrg tpr 
T B R P G a thumb. T B R P G a thumb. I use it to fill a couple of prompts on there. Uh, this is volume 12 of JJK, which you can see. And I really, really enjoyed it. It was a great uh, volume. We're continuing the Shibuya, Shibuya incident. I have no idea if that's how you say it, but this is um, an arc that is currently going on. And it was really, really good. And I got to see Nanami kick some butt, which is always my favorite. So I can't wait to see this uh, animated so I can see Nanami being hella cool. That's it. This was five stars. That's it. That's all I've read. So who knows? My plan is to try and finish JJK at least. If I can get Smoking Parade, I think I'll go on to that next and probably leave Undead Unluck and Overlord. I'm not doing it all anymore because I actually have replaced it, the volume that I was going to use for a readathon because I managed to get the audiobook for Across the Green Grass Fields, which I would rather read for the Portal Fantasy prompt. So I mean, at this rate, I'm not going to have a vlog at all. Anyway, these two parcels just arrived from Amazon and my partner phoned me and was like, oh, did you get a parcel? And one of them is from him, but he doesn't know who the other one's from. So we're going to find out together. I'm very, very excited because they are both book shaped. Oh, the Good Samaritan. I think this is from Danny because there's no gift note. So we've got The Good Samaritan by John Mars. This is very exciting because I really want to read some John Mars. And this one, I think, is about she works at like a suicide hotline, um, but she doesn't necessarily talk them out of it, if that makes sense. So it says, um, she's a friendly voice on the phone, but can you trust her? The people who call end of the line need hope. They need reassurance that life is worth living, but some are unlucky enough to get through to Laura. Laura doesn't want them to hope. She wants them to die. Laura hasn't had it easy. She survived sickness and a difficult marriage only to find herself heading for 40, unsettled and angry. She doesn't love talking to people worse off than she is. She craves it. But now someone's onto her. Ryan, whose world falls apart when his pregnant wife ends her life hand in hand with a stranger. Who was this man and why did they choose to die together? The sinister truth is within Ryan's grasp, but he has no idea of the desperate lengths Laura will go to. Because the best thing about being a good Samaritan is that you can get away with murder. That sounds amazing. I am desperate to read some more John Mars because after the absolute trip, the ride, the glory of What Lies Between Us, which I absolutely loved, it was such a great reading experience for me, I know that I just want to dive into some more of his work, so expect to see this on a TBR soon. So what's in the other one then? Because that one must be from Danny because there's no gift note or anything and he would have just bought it. Oh, okay, this one has a gift note. Oh wait, no, this is from Danny. This is from Danny. <laughs> Hang on, I'm confused. So Danny, he just says, love you. <laughs> Danny has actually bought me Dark Rise by C.S. Picat. I'm really confused. This is very beautiful. So C.S. Picat, I think that's how you say it, is an author that wrote the Captive Prince series, which I absolutely loved. And this is kind of like her first work outside of that, aside from Fence, because she did Fence. So this is her first novel, but not her first work. I should probably say that. Gorgeous cover. Let me read it to you. The dark is coming. The ancient world of magic is no more. Its heroes are dead, its halls are in ruins, and its great battles between light and dark are forgotten. Only the stewards remember, and they keep their centuries-long vigils sworn to protect humanity if the Dark King ever returns. Sixteen-year-old Doc Boy Will is on the run, pursued by the men who killed his mother. When an old servant tells him of his destiny to fight beside the stewards, Will is ushered into the world of magic, where he must train to play a vital role in the oncoming war against the dark. As London is threatened by the Dark King's return, the reborn heroes and villains of a long-forgotten war begin to draw battle lines. But as the young descendants of Light and Dark step into their destined roles, old allegiances, old enmities and old flames are awakened. Wilma stand with the last heroes of the Light to prevent the dark fate that destroyed their world from returning to destroy his own. That sounds really, really cool. So that was a lovely gift from Dan. So who bought me the other one? I have no idea. Let me just check through the packaging. There's no gift note. I have no idea who got this for me. So I'm very excited. I need to do some digging. I'll let you know if I find out who got me the Good Samaritan. And we're one, we're one in for the vlog. So is this gonna be the shortest, worst vlog you've ever seen? Probably, probably. I guess I'll check in with you when I've actually done some reading, if that ever happens.
I look awful. I apologise, but I've done some reading. It is Sunday the 30th of January and I've actually done a chunk of reading for this manga vlog, finally. Finally. Let me give you a brief update on what I've read so far and then I'll tell you what the plan is because obviously we're running out of time. We're swiftly running out of time. So first up I read Jujutsu Kaisen volume 13 and I am not okay. This was a five stars but I'm really upset about it. I can't tell you anything about why I'm upset about it without giving spoilers. Um, but if you've read volume 13 and you may know what I'm talking about, don't say in the comments, but feel free to like DM me on any of my other social media. It's all in the description box. I, yeah, I'm not, I'm not okay. I'm very sad. And poor Bonnie, who has no idea what Jujutsu Kaisen is. First of all, she had to put it with me telling her everything about JJK and then explaining why I was upset. <laughs> Thanks, Bonnie. You're a real one. I mean, it was brilliant, but I'm mad about it. I then read Jujutsu Kaisen Volume Zero. This is a prequel, which I really, really struggled to get my hands on and then ended up with two, which I still don't know how that happened. But I finally read this and I really loved it. It was great to kind of look back at some of the stuff that was happening before the series with some of our main characters, um, particularly like the second and third years. Well, no, second years. It would be second years or third years. What year are they? I don't know. The older characters. In the main JJK series, we are following predominantly the first years, but the older characters are in it all the time. Um, but we started off with the first years, so it's nice to kind of go back to kind of see what the other guys were getting up to before this. And it also gave us a bit more backstory on the whole Gito situation. So I really enjoyed this. Again, five stars. Really interesting. And I loved the concept of these two characters. I won't go for spoilers, but it was so, so good. So then after reading those two, I decided to continue Smoke and Parade. So I read volume six of this. And yeah, I hadn't picked it up for like a month, maybe more. And it just reminded me why I was binging it in the first place. So this was a fantastic volume. We got some really good backstory on some of our characters. We got some good reveals. And I literally just love this series so much. So I'm going to now go on to volume seven and eight. And my plan is to finish these today. If I can read these today, then I'm going to wrap this vlog up and we'll have completed or caught up on two series in this vlog, which isn't bad going. I mean, it's not as much as I intended. Um, Undead Unluck is going to go back on the shelf. I do, do really want to read this. I just didn't get around to it. So Undead Unluck is going back on the shelf. We're abandoning all other plans. I thought it was going to read so many. I'm so stupid. Why did I think I was going to read like catch up on 30 series in this one month? whilst doing two readathons and my whole TBR. So I'm going to read these two and then I will close out the vlog. So you haven't seen it yet because I've already kind of edited up to a certain point and then I knew I was going to do like a sit down bit. So the B-roll you're about to see is actually kind of in the past technically. Well, I mean, guess everything you see is in the past. It's already happened. But you know what I mean, <laughs> like compared to this clip. We're jumping back in time a little bit. Yesterday I went to my mum's and with my sister and my brother-in-law, Danny, obviously my dad and Jensen. And we had a belated Christmas because at Christmas, my brother-in-law had COVID. So they only found out literally on the day as they were leaving to come and spend the day with us. So we kind of had like a belated Christmas slash birthday celebrations for Danny and my dad because Danny's birthday's in January and my dad's birthday's in February. So we had like a really nice get together. We went to the pub and had a few drinks. We came back to mum's and had a roast dinner. We played games. We had loads of music. We had good chat. It was great. It was so lovely. We stayed overnight, um, which is why I look like this because uh, it was very hot. So my hair got like this attractive much quicker and <laughs> I am about to jump in the bath so I've actually run a bath I've just been and done Tesco's and I bought myself a chai latte a dirty chai latte and I bought some new like face wash stuff because the the breakout is ridiculous so I got some simple um like face wash stuff for Christmas and it was so lovely and it made my skin feel really soft and really nice and then I started having like really bad breakouts and I looked it up and it said, oh, sometimes when you change your like skincare routine, like you change to a different product, you can have a breakout. It's called like a skin purge, um, but it shouldn't last that long. Well, it's now been like way over a month. Well, yeah, well, just over a month, not way over. My concept of time is January went fast. Okay, just 
I'm confused. So it's been over a month on these new products and it's it's not getting better, it's getting worse. So I decided to, I need to change. So I'm gonna stop using the simple stuff and I've got some Garnier stuff because I use Garnier micellar water and I use um, like the charcoal stuff for like blackheads and things and I've never had a problem with that so far. So I bought like some face wash. I'm gonna do that and do like a tissue mask and um, read these in the bath. That's what I'm gonna do. And hopefully next time we speak, I will have read those and the vlog will be done. Just in time to start worrying about February's one, which is already planned. I know what I'm doing for February's one and it is a finisher series one. So kind of the same, but just one series, but you know, you'll see. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. I've rambled. I'm gonna have a bath. Volumes seven and eight read. I think there's only one volume of this left to come out. It comes out in February, I will be reading it. I think I'll probably drop everything when it arrives. As long as it doesn't get delayed, obviously, because this is manga we're talking about, but I do have it on pre-order and I'm so excited because, oh my God. It ended the final arc in volume eight. It feels like a really good ending. It feels like we've been building up to it and oh, I love this series so much, so much. I think this is like top five. I don't know what my top five is. Blue Exorcist, this, JJK, Moriarty the Patriot. Maybe Death Note? I don't know if I'm far enough into it. But yeah, this is definitely right near the top. I loved this so, so much. And I thought it had been cancelled, but it turns out it's just finishing. So like, I don't think it actually got cancelled. I think the story's just over. So, um... Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's my kind of thing because it's quite gritty, it's quite fucked up. <laughs> There's a lot of, like, really kind of morally grey characters, dubious intentions. Yeah, it's quite dark, it's quite violent. It's just great. It's really, really good. So, for this vlog, I fully intended on catching up on way more series than I did. I think I was going to do Overlord, Undead Unluck, and possibly Way of the House Husband. I mean, who was I kidding? <laughs> but I have done three, technically, two in this vlog, and I also... Oh, hello, Can. Sorry. <laughs> That's been there the whole time. Um, I also read volume five of Mario the Patriot this month. Not for this, but I read it. So I've now caught up so technically in January I did catch up on three series so I'm now all up to date on JJK from where it's been released and I think let me consult my spreadsheet so the next JJK should come out in March because I think it was pushed back um the next Mario the Patriot comes out in ooh the 3rd of February that might get read and the last Smoking Parade comes out near the end of Feb so, I will kind of like be able to kind of read them if I get around to them. So I can start reading as they're released. There is obviously quite a lot that I've read the first volumes of and I need to catch up on. So I might actually, I was thinking about this because if you've seen my February TBR, you know that I have put on the rest of Death Note. And I'm wondering whether I'm going to try and do like a weekly vlog where I read Death Note and then do a manga vlog as well and try and do two series in Feb as well and then in March maybe try and do another try a volume vlog maybe or do I do another catch up vlog in March let me know in the comments would you prefer to see a catch up vlog again where I actually read the series that I've started or do you want to see some more try a volume ones because I'll be honest I have unread manga for both <laughs> and for a thousand vlogs to come. <laughs> I was watching Becca Sprints earlier and Lisa was like, oh, you add so much manga to my list. And I'm like, yeah, tell me about it. Like I keep adding it to my own list and I can't catch up and I'm taking you all down with me. <laughs> so there you have it. We're caught up on JJK. We're caught up on Smoke and Parade. 
two of my all-time favourites. I would say this has been quite a successful vlog. Well, I mean, not with like the amount that I planned on, but enjoyment-wise, these were all five stars and I had a great time. So, I mean, what more can you ask for, really? So that's it for this vlog. I'm going to wrap this up. I was wondering whether to maybe read like a couple of volumes of Undead Unluck tonight, but like I say, it's the 30th of Jan and I haven't started King of Crows yet. I need to read more of The Shining and obviously Interview with the Vampire. I need to start ASAP for the live show. So I thought, probably not. I'm trying to be sensible. So what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to play The Sims and listen to uh, King of Crows on audiobook because for some reason that series and playing The Sims just seems to work really well for me. I, I don't know why. So as I said, let me know in the comments below whether you would like to see a trial volume vlog or a catch up vlog in March. I don't know why we're already thinking about March, but I already know what I'm doing for February. So let me know if you've read either of these or if I've added them to your list. Let me know. If you just want me to know you're here, that purple heart is always appreciated. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed and you'd like to see more bookish content from me, remember to hit that button, leave a like if you want to, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Maybe let's see how many of, oh no. Um, is it all the, the author? Ah, oh, you're joking. They've been doing something to some drains a few houses down from mine, all pissing day. Centuries long vigil, sworn to prepare, when an old servant talks to him, okay, this is actually really hard to read uh, because the paper is gold and the writing is white and uh, I like he's making his white card see a damn thing. When an old servant tells him of his destiny to fight, oh, I mean, that was a struggle to get through, but that's more because um, of lighting and noise. It was great to kind of look back at some of the things.